Let's talk about some pen work basics for porcelain painting. Uh, this is the pen that I like to use. This is a dip pen and it comes with a cap which is really nice and it's very comfortable to use. That's why it's my favorite. I like a fine point for doing pen work on porcelain. Any crow quill pen or dip pen that you may have um, that has a good hard nib uh, with a fine point will work. And when you have a brand new nib, you probably want to clean it before you use it. A lot of them are shipped with either an oil or a wax on them to protect them from oxidation. And you're going to want to clean that off so that the nib will actually hold the paint. And the way I do that is I use uh, a lint-free cloth. This is one of my chem wipes that I like to use. And I just put a little denatured alcohol or you could use 100% acetone. And I very gently would just wipe this nib off on the cloth to get any of that oil or wax off of it. And then after I get it clean, I would want to look at it really closely and make sure that there isn't like a piece of the cloth or anything stuck between those nibs. Um, but you want to take very good care of your nib. You want to make sure that you don't get them bent or that you don't spl split the nib. Otherwise, it will have to be replaced and you won't be able to use it. So take really good care of your nibs. Store them someplace where the point is protected and it should last you quite a quite a while. So the way we use our pen for pen work, in my case I like to use uh, this pen oil that I sell and I like it. It's very convenient for me because it can be mixed with our already pre-mixed paint that's on our palette that we have mixed with mineral oil. So there are different recipes out there for pen oil. There are some people like to use a water-based medium or a sugar syrup solution. Uh, some people even use flat 7-Up or flat Sprite. Uh, there's a lot of different oils out there uh, that are available. I personally like this one because it's convenient for me. I can just mix it up with a little bit of my pre-mixed paint that's already on my palette so I don't really have to go to a whole lot of trouble to do pen work. So what I typically do is I take a little bit of my pre-mixed paint and then I will mix that up with some of my pen oil. And consistency is pretty much key here. You want to make sure that you don't get your paint too thin or it's going to just run right out of your pen and mess up your work or it will spread too much. Um, you'll make a line and then you'll go back and look at it and it will have spread on the chi on the china or it could run in your kiln. So consistency is important. Too thick and it won't run out of the pen properly and too thin and it runs too much and goes everywhere. So what I have found is I try and mix my pen, excuse me, my paint to the consistency where it runs off of my knife about two drops in a second. So I'm just taking that pre-mixed paint and mixing it with a little bit of my oil and then we'll see if we can get that to the right consistency to do some line work. And don't worry if you get it too thin you can always just add a little bit more of your paint to it. Too thick and you just add a little bit more of your oil until you get a consistency that flows well off of your pen but doesn't spread out on the porcelain and will hold a line. This feels like it might be a little on the thick side, but let's see. I'll just kind of scoop some up here. That's pretty good. One one thousand. See? Okay. Now some artists will say to load your pen, they tell you to scoop up your paint. I don't like to do that. I don't like um, getting my nib of my pen up against the hard porcelain sideways. I'm afraid that I will bend up my pen nib, so I personally don't recommend doing that. Um, you could get a brush and brush the paint onto the nib, but what I find is is easier is to just scoop it up and let it drip right off of the palette knife into the nib. And you can see I'm just filling this up and there's a hole that is the reservoir 
on this nib and you want to make sure that you get some paint in that hole and fill that reservoir because that is what actually feeds the nib. And the excess, just hold your pen up vertically and let that excess run out of the nib. And once it's done dripping out of the nib, you can see it's not coming out anymore. And now it's safe to go ahead and start doing your pen work on your piece. So what I do is I usually will just sit it down and just test to make sure that there's no clops or anything like that. And then you can see that you can start to make, with very little pressure, thin lines. And if you were to add more pressure, the line would be thicker. And you can write with your pen like you would normally write with any pen. You want to hold it at about a 45 degree angle when you write. And the amount of pressure that you put will determine how thick your line is. Now there are several things that you can do with pen work with china painting. You can do an outline of a design and then paint it in, color it in, similar to like a coloring book. You could go along a border and do a design, um, a repeating design on a border. Uh, you could do personalization, uh, you know, by writing on your piece. There's a lot of different designs that you can do with pen work and most beginning china painters enjoy pen work because it's comfortable. Most people have had experience writing with a pen, so it's a little easier to get started with a pen than it is to jump right into brush work, depending upon your experience with painting. But you can see that you can write for quite some time 